Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm Rick. And I'm Peter. And this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yes, it is. Where we are continuing to wind down our Pokedex. We are quite close, Ray. I think we have 21 Poke... It's the edge Come of the world, as you know it. Left to go. Oh, I'm so much further away than I thought I was. Uh, we're heading down to Fabled Spring real quick so that we can pick up a Cleffa. Hopefully, Cleffa are fairly common uh, compared with most of the baby Pokemon. It tends to help when the Pokemon family itself is like the only thing that spawns somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Pichu's a little tough. Pichu is like one of the more annoying ones because Pikachu are kind of everywhere, but there's only places it can appear. A bunch of other shit can appear too. Right. So the likelihood of your spawn being the Pichu is pretty low. Yeah, it's not great. For the, for the few nodes where it can spawn. Exactly. But fortunately, Cleffa really only has over here to spawn anyway. Uh, those look like Clefairies. If you knock out a couple of Clefairies, you might get a Cleffa. That is That's a an Alpha, alpha Cleffa. Cleffa? Yes. All right, I'm definitely catching that. And that's a regular Cleffa. All right, so if... If things go poorly, we have our alternative. Who was it that was attacking? I think that was the Cleffa. Damn oh, it. That one wants a fight. All right, let's do it, baby. <laughs> this is going to be like, weird It's a little shit. formal, but then it's, it's a literal baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, I'm going to do a heavy ball. I feel like an ultra ball is maybe a little extreme for this. Not formal. Familiar. Oh, familiar, yeah. F words. Uh -huh. Yay! Stay. Cleffa, gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, it also only shows up here at night, so that's another important aspect of that. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, damn it, now we've been seen, so I can't just fly away. Nope, you Arg. gotta, you gotta f fly before you can just uh, I've got map to zoom. fly away. But yeah, we're going to be heading up to do the uh, the Giratina thing today. Oh boy. We literally just finished doing some Brilliant Diamond, so call back to that when we inevitably uh, do the, the follow-up thing for what we did there. Uh, I believe that is a mythic encounter that that book is for. Uh, probably, yeah. That sounds about right. Um, we're probably going to do that this episode, ultimately. We don't have a lot to actually do here. Or actually, is, it's, a, it's a weird edge case, isn't it? Uh, I want to say it's a it's if it's the one I'm thinking of, it is the rare and I believe unique case of a mythical Pokemon that can breed. On that you can yes, yes, you're right. Oh, oh, sorry, not Giratina. Darkrai. Darkrai is here. Giratina is over. I think at the at the um, actually might also be here. Come to think of it, that wasn't just like on. Prelude Beach or something ridiculous like that? I don't what think was it was. One? Oh, yeah. What do I have for... For throwables? Ooh. Yeah. Sticky globs. Ball of mud. Oh. Where did it teleport to? Over there? Oh, you bitch. Where's it going? Running away oh, further. Oh. Interesting. The way that that's interacting, I wonder if there's actually a possibility of... Throwing a ball at it from behind and yeah. just catching it. Oop, shit. Didn't realize it was actually attacking. Oh. Let's try this because it's faster. Where is he? Oh, goddamn, really? Holy shit. Wow. Come on, do Good it. Good timing. Oh, didn't get it off in time. Oh. Uh, yeah, and being Fucker. in that tight is not good. Oh, God. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Another good timing. Don't be in that close. Oop, yep. It might be easier to, like, get it into... Goad it into a battle. Probably, yeah. 
I know you really liked to do all of the event there we go. with just no, throwing fine. shit at them. <laughs> oh, well, that's mean. But the intended mechanic of all of those was to get an opportunity yes, to get a battle yeah. in. 70 to 73. I feel like the odds of me actually killing it, even with a strong one, are like, eh, let's do... You know what? Let's do this. We'll do Agile. Yeah, because you get a second move out of that. Yeah. That's... And just hopefully this your burb isn't too strong. That's pretty much perfect. Yeah. Ultra Ball it is. Woobly 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 hoo. So this one unfortunately doesn't count towards our Arceus pile, but... No. Ah, oh, boo. Uh, but it is an available catch. Yeah. Also, Superb is definitely going down right now. Actually, not with Dark Void, though. Well, not likely, anyway. Oh, it's just continuing to stack on other shit. Got it. Now you're asleep and defense down. Yeah. I mean, it probably could have just killed it with uh, the Psychic move again. I love the little steam that kind of kicks out of it while, while you know, things inside. Yeah, yeah this will kill it for it sure. definitely yeah. has a strong steampunk vibe for the, like, construction yeah. of the Pokeball. Who do I? These two I don't care about in terms of like Keeping friendship them happy. or anything. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Just throw another one. I guess I could also check to see if I've got like a paralyzing move on one of these guys or something. But I suppose we're about as close. Like minus like sleep or paralysis, we're basically as close as we're gonna get in terms of. Yeah, if if you could do a very not effective move to get it into the red that would be slightly closer. Yeah. But that'd be a bit of an ask here. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, none of those are, are good for that. would really prefer... I get two turns in a row, which is nice. I'd really prefer not to run out of Ultra Balls right now. I think you only get two in a row if one of them is an there attack. Because I don't think... I think at Ultra oh, Ball, it? it would just go to its turn next. Gotcha. I'm not 100% sure on that. Astounding. Now everyone will be able to rest easy, I guess. Sure. Yes, now no one else will fall victim to such dark nightmares. I suppose I better be heading back uh, home myself now. But don't you ever forget... Uh, but I won't ever forget what you did. Farewell. <laughs> don't you ever forget what you did. Don't you ever forget what you did. Uh, what did I do? You saved everyone. Oh, okay. From nightmares. Oh, that seems that seems rather dramatic. That's the nightmare Pokemon. Uh, Good job. All right, so we had, oh yeah, are either of these out here while we're here? No. And no. No, that's probably on Strong Beach or something, right? Perhaps, yeah. Uh, sees Legend on the trail. Giratina, oh, is on Cobalt Coastlands, which I think is where we're headed next anyway. Uh, I forget where the last one of these is, but that's, I think, also on Cobalt Coastlands. Or no, that one, I think, is in Crimson Mirelands. Landorus. Did you already do the Cobalt Coastlands one? I did not. So I guess that's probably where Thunderous is then, yeah. Uh, Crimson Mirelands with Mai. We should do that soon. But I think let's... Whoop. Let's get ourselves to the Cobalt Coastlands. Yes. I think it is time. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else that we need to do here. Good. Do you have on your list where we still need wisps? Uh, or is that just in your brain? That's just in my brain. Uh, it's basically Cobalt Coastlands and Crimson Mirelands. There you go. Uh, to my knowledge, that is the only place. Those are the only places we have anything left to go for for wisps. All right. Ding ding ding. Caught a Cleffa, Alpha, and also this Nightmare Pokemon. But yeah, that isn't showing up properly in anybody's Pokedex. Hooray! Eh. I mean, you have an entry for it, right? I do. It just doesn't... Right. Arceus doesn't care. Arceus doesn't care about the Nightmare Pokemon. About you having the Nightmare it's pretty Pokemon. pretty rude, honestly. All right, so... Let's turn right back around. Get out of here! We'll head to the, whoop, we'll head to the Cobalt Coastlands. A mass outbreak of Ambipoms. Ready? That's a lot of hands. It's so many hands, way too many hands, all hands on deck. Uh, so this is the part where we have ourselves a nice little flashback. Hello to anybody watching during Pokemon Legends Arceus when we inevitably uh, flash back to this. 
<laughs> it's a text that was only recently discovered, and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Yeah. It's called the Violet Book. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Would you like to keep... Oh. <laughs> what? The book just says, would you like to keep reading? I'm like, uh, yeah, yes. I think. What? Turn the page to read more. Mantike... Buizel and Quillfish with huge spikes, so maybe an overquill. Yes. Acknowledge the human's bravery. So my guess is that we're going to need those three Pokemon in our party. Um, or maybe those three have to be... I don't think there are any wild overquill, so that would have to be Pokemon in your party. Acknowledge the human's bravery and joined them. Together they set off in a boat over the sunset-streaked sea, sailing through the ocean gate. Okay, there's that tunnel. Yep. Uh... Stretched over the waves. So do you need to have read it in this game for something to unlock in the other game? No, I think you just... I think that they've got just enough stuff that there's a really low probability that you'll just happen to get this right. Like, the odds of having a Mantike, Buizel, and Overquill in your party when you're, I guess, uh, uh, using um, Basque Legion to swim through the archway of that tunnel over the water, I feel like the odds are fairly low for that exact combination of stuff. So I know why I had the Mantike and the Overquill in the team. Oh, did you happen to have all three of those? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, yeah. You, you might have been just doing the Buizel quest or something. Probably. Um, I am curious, because the Ears of the Prince makes me also wonder if there's anything to do with like Prinplup, but I feel like maybe not. Uh, just because if it's about, oh, I want to meet the Prince, that, that would not be... meet the Brave Little Party yeah. at... Brave Little Party at the Seaside Hollow. Oh, okay, yep. Okay. So, sailing under the arch, it may not even matter which direction, so long as you sail to or swim to the Seaside Hollow. Okay. All right. That's good to know. That may make an appearance in a, uh, a Pokemon Legends Arceus video in the near future. We do have a bit of a backlog there, so don't be surprised if it's like a good week and a half until we say anything about that. Yeah. And now that we're back, it's time for us to switch out our Pokemon real quick. Cute. Uh... So let's start by putting these ones that we basically don't have anything to do with them right now anyway, right here. Yep. Uh, and we need, let's see, uh, Buizel. Yep. We need a... Where is he? Oberquill. Uh, man, oh no, that's Mantine. Where's my man Tyke? Do you have a Tyke? Do I have a man Tyke? Do I not have a man Tyke right now? Oh, right, because I had a man Tyke doing catch. living decks. Fuck me, God, it really keeps getting me every time. So you'll have to catch a Mantine. Uh, and I don't have an Overquill yet. I actually don't have a Quillfish yet. So this is a great opportunity to go and catch. Yep. What is his number? That's what I was about to check on. This guy, Tornadus is two thirty one. Hooray! It's very useful for my uh, for my thing on the side here. But okay, so we're going to go get a Mantike and a Quillfish, and we have to evolve it. So that's going to be our... I know that we don't have a full team of six, but like we're going to go catch those two things. Yep. And we, we really don't need all the other stuff in there anyway. No, we just, so. we, just need, we just need those two guys to be on the team. Yep. So we should go catch them. Uh, fortunately, they're both quite easy to get your hands on. Quillfish tend to show up literally like right here. Yeah, well, and the great thing is you can catch off the back of the fish, so... Yes, that helps a lot. That looks like maybe a seal, actually. Uh, ooh, what? Bubbles. It's about to come up. Who is that? That's... Can you bump into it to start an encounter? Nope. Oh, hey, here we go. Mantike. I think it was Mantike, not Mantine, but I guess we'll have an easy way of knowing. Oop, fuck me. Oh my god. Quit moving so much. <laughs> Stab it. Just stay. Okay. Threw a heavy ball just in case. Alright, so we got one now, and I think it should just be on our team. It is. Good. And so now we need a Quillfish. Whoop. That's oh, a, it's a remoraid. It's like, what even is that? It's so small. 
Just a little revolver. Uh, That's another revolver. Remoraid, remoraid. God. The mafia's been around. Throwing their guns one? in the water. It's another one. There's somebody over here. Remoraid. Think more by the little islands. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, damn it. The All rocky right. islands get you your quillfish. There we go. And then what is his stupid thing? Uh, you have to use Barb Barrage Strong Style 20 times. Oh, my God. So it's a gonna, lot of fighting. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a hot second. Good news is I don't have to, like, it's not like there's no counter resets. You don't have to worry about damage done or any of that stuff. It's just use it 20 times. Yep. So nice and quick. And Quillfish is one of the ones we had to catch anyway. Now you've caught one, and you have one to fight still. Yep. You use it against some other stuff that's, actually, I may as well just use it now. Why the hell not? You caught the higher level one. Yeah. And hell, Barbarage is probably going to get resisted anyway, so. Yep. Nice. So we're just going to use this 20 times. I don't even feel like I need to be worried about keeping track anyway, just because, like, we'll know when we can evolve it. Right. Being able to evolve will come up. Yeah. All right. Dang. Let's see, we also want to catch a tentacool out here. Okay. That's... There we go. Biggest bummer about strong style stuff is that it takes up the double... the double attack power. Or the double, the uh, double PP. PP. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so there's our quillfish. Uh, let's go look for tentacool real quick here. Got to catch one anyway. Yep. And it will be easier if it's whittled down and it'll resist Barb Barrage. So, kind of a win 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 on all that. A ween ween ween. Ween ween ween. That's Mantike. Mantike. And. Can't tell. Oh, more Mantike. Mantine. I mean, I can also be fighting them too, but if I got to get Tentacle, I may as well kind of focus on that a little bit. Yarados. Dos Giardos. Oh, Chris. All right, hang on a second. Let's let's be a little smarter about this. Uh, uh, check where it's marked on the map. Yeah. Oh, do I? I have not even seen one, so I can't even I can't even look. Like I've not encountered a tentacle yet, so I can't even look up where more specifically it might be. Though, granted, I don't even know how often these areas have like names in the first place. Oh, the sections of ah, the water. Oh, damn it. It was there. There it is. He's still there. Ba boom. Wow. Because we want one and we got to evolve one, so. Let's see how this goes. Oh, perfect. All right. I did use strong style, so that makes sense. Yep. Guess it two moves in. Yep, that's fine. Uh, superb, get back out there. Just soak it up for a minute. Probably just stand there while I throw a Pokeball. Yes. Uh, a regular Pokeball should be fine for now. Tentacool, level 27, yeah. Yep. I should probably hop back to camp in a second here and, like, heal and get some more balls going. Yeah, I suppose get the cheap, the cheap heal, the free yeah. heal is wise. All right, Tentacool is all set. Uh, let's... Because then you can just fight some of the Pokemon immediately away, you know, on the coast. That's true. I may as well just fight stuff that's nearby without worrying about, like... Going uh, swimming again? Yeah. Let's also switch some of our dudes out real quick, because if we're not immediately jumping in to do this, then we don't need you. I don't need another Mantine. I do, however, need... I got Celio already in the party. I also want that Tentacool that I just grabbed... Uh, as well as, did I get rid of my Turtwig? What happened? Or did I actually evolve and I just didn't mark it down? Uh, where'd you go, little buddy? Yeah, here we go. Dana Carvey. Get back on the team, buddy. Because all three of uh, turtle, turtle. this guy, this guy, and this guy all need evolutions as well. Yep. This is good to get them XP while you're doing fighting things. Yep. Should make it a little bit more streamlined. 
A little bit good there. Why don't we actually call it here? We're going to come back next time, and we will actually complete the Seas Legend. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs>